Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Following a sold-out run in London's West End, Carrie Mulligan, Bill Nighy, and Matthew Beard are reprising their roles in David Hare's critically acclaimed play, Skylight. Under the direction of Stephen Daldry, it will open on April 2nd here at the John Golden Theater, where we dropped by to meet the company. Take me back to the beginning of what you love about this play when you were first aware of it. Well, I watched this play back in 95 when it was first performed at the Cottesloe Theatre at the National. Um, and David is an old friend of mine. We've worked together many, many times, both in movies and in, in, in the theatre. And actually I've even directed him in the theatre. We did a, he acted in his own play, Via Dolorosa, that I directed in London and again here on Broadway. Um, and David sort of um, has held off reviving this play for 17 years really, until we got the right cast. And we've been talking about it for a long time. And finally, with Kerry and Bill, we found the right cast, and of course, joined by the brilliant Matthew Beard. Um, so f for us, it was just the perfect moment, and the, indeed the perfect moment in history, the, where the two value systems that they're discussing, one, this incredibly successful restaurateur, and a, and a young school teacher, you know, learning, trying to go out, trying to find a way through, working in an inner city poor school. So the rich and poor worlds of the cities clashing together, the value system that clashes, rich cities, poor cities living together, how we, how we do that, how we combine, whether it's getting worse. In a sense, I think the play is more relevant today than it even was uh, when it was first um, performed. Um, certainly the issues and the debate is very, very present. I mean, not just in the mayor's office right now, uh, but I'm very aware of it all across the city. You know, the city, the, 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 the tale of two cities, and that's very much the tale of New York as it is the tale of London right now. And talk about this brilliant cast you put together, what it was like working with them in the rehearsal room. Total joy. I mean, they're, to they're both at the top of their game. Um, Bill gives one of the most virtuoso performances I think I've ever been witness to. Kerry gives such unbelievable emotional truth. Um, and she's disarming. She is such a disarming actress because you can't see the joy. She doesn't look like she's acting. It's something else. I mean, when I say that, you know... You when I say it's an unusual experience watching this play, it's unusual because it is like nothing you've ever seen before. Um, and it's heartbreaking as well as being incredibly funny. So I hope people have a great time. I certainly have had one of the best experiences of my life directing it. Well, congratulations. Is this your Broadway debut? It is, yes. This show was my theatre debut, my West End debut and my Broadway debut all in one go. So, so yes, I owe it a lot. So how excited are you to be here so far in New York and getting ready to open this show? Well, very excited. I mean, I've been to the city a few times before. Um, I'm a big fan. And now to live here is obviously is a whole other thing. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that experience. Talk about working on this play, what it has meant to you. Uh, well, it's been a huge thing for me. I've never done a play before, so it's a huge uh, leap into a whole other way of working. And I couldn't have been with better people for that. You know, Stephen Dolgy, the director... David Hare's words, and then Bill and Kerry is, uh, you know, on the stage with me. So, um, in terms of having a great support group for that, it doesn't get much better. Yeah. Talk about the rehearsal process, being in that room with Carrie and Bill and Stephen, and then performing with them. What that has meant to you? Well, I'm, you can imagine what, that, <laughs> what that's like. Um, I mean, what's been really good for me is not being used to theatre and how that works. They've all done film before so they all knew what how my mind was working and ticking and um, perhaps what pitfalls I would be falling into so um, so they've all been incredibly supportive and it's just you know you get very tight when it's something when you're all doing something this scary together um, you sort of look out for each other and that's been great to have you know colleagues like that. Congratulations. First, welcome back to Broadway. How does it feel to be working again in New York? It's very exciting. I love working in New York and I've, you know, done a couple of plays here and, um, and yeah, some films and, uh, and it's sort of buzzy, you know, it's a very exciting place to be. Especially this time of year. Yeah, it's great. And we missed, I think we got the last week of the really terrible weather as well, so quite relieved about that. Tell me what it's been like working on this play, first in the West End and now here. What you love about the words? It's the writing, yeah. I think it's the writing. I mean, the cast is incredible, and getting to work so closely with both of these actors and, and so intensely with Bill is really exciting. Um, but it, the writing was what got me so excited about it. And I'd never read Skylar, I'd never seen it. I'd, I really didn't know anything about it. And when I read it, I just remember getting about 10 pages in and thinking, I really hope it stays amazing. This is so good. I hope it doesn't get, you know. And it just was so brilliant from start to finish. And I think when writing's that great, you can do it for years, you know, because you're always finding new things. What can you tell us about the role, what you love about her so far? Uh, I like that she's 
unneurotically passionate and uh, firm in her beliefs. She's staunch in what she believes in and sort of unapologetic about it. And she's got a strength to her and, um, you know, she's decided her path and she has a calling in her own mind and she's pursuing it relentlessly. And I, and I kind of like that, you know, fervor and vigor that she has. What I love about this play, it's as relevant today as a day it was written, if not even more. Would yeah. you agree with that? I would agree with it. It's also one of David Hare's least favorite comments because he's always like, it was relevant when I wrote it. Um, but no, it is. It is. It's amazing. I mean, you could feel that in the audience response in London. A lot of the political ideas are more relevant now even than they were then so and I think people really engage with that but there's also a lot of stuff that you know there's always so many universal themes about love and loss and grief and you know and life and I think as well as all of those ideas there's you know there's so many things that people come away from the show that resonate with them. What has it been like rediscovering this play this time around? Well I am a bit of a goldfish in as much as I, I, I have fond memories of the first production but I, I don't have any real sense memory of the performance so it's been a kind of revelation. Uh, I love the play. I love the play with all my heart. I think the play is one of the great plays in the English language. I just I adore the play and I adore the part and this package with Stephen Daldry and Kerry Mulligan and Robert Fox and Scott Rooney, the whole thing, and Bob Crowley doing the set so brilliantly, uh, was so attractive to me. Uh, there aren't many plays I want to do, so this seemed like the right thing. Talk about the rehearsal process, working with Carrie and Matthew in the room with Stephen. Well, it was one of the, I think any of them will tell you, that it was one of the nicest times any of us have ever had. It was something about it. It, was just, it just seemed to happen quite naturally, without static, without friction. Uh, which is, you know, and everyone was, and Stephen is a truly brilliant man. I'd never worked with him before. I knew that he was, you know, I'd seen his, his work and I knew that he was a, an extremely gifted director, but to work with him personally was, uh, was a wonderful thing. He's a truly, truly great man and a gorgeous human being. And, um, and, and to work with Kerry, who is beautiful to work with and wonderful, and she's absolutely marvelous in the show. I can't, I'm crazy about her. I can't, speak highly enough of her. She was, uh, she's an assassin in terms of the work and she's, um, she's very good to do business with. And what you love about this role? I love everything about this role really. It's, it's easily identifiable as a great part and you get, it, you get to uh, get through a range of things and it's some, I love the fact that the work is sophisticated enough that there is no, it's not one of those plays where somebody comes on and tells you what to think. You know what I mean? I like the fact that everybody talks nonsense at some point and everybody talks sense and it's funny, you know, and I like, I do think it's vulgar to invite people to sit in the dark for a couple of hours and not tell them a joke. I think it's sort of bad manners. Uh, and David Hare writes my favorite jokes. I mean, some of my favorite jokes. And he, he builds them like clocks. And if you deliver them perfectly, uh, they, they, they go off like bombs. And that's, uh, that can be addictive. So I'm very, very pleased about that element of it. If you could sum up the best part of the experience so far with working on Skylight, what has it been for you, Bill? Um, one of the best has been the fact that David Hare was so universally fated and celebrated in London town uh, to the degree that they then invited us to New York with his play, having worked with him all my life, as I say, uh, it gives me deep satisfaction that that should be the case.